Hi there, welcome to the Uxlef channel and welcome to this tutorial video for the playlong videos of Love You So as recorded by uh, King Khan and Barbecue Show. It's a song that has blown up uh, mainly because of TikTok and of course that leads over into Instagram and of course the Facebook shorts and everything as well, uh, YouTube shorts as well. So um, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to do three things. First of all, we're going to look at the chords needed for GCEA soprano concert or tenor ukulele, both in the key of G and the key of F. Then we'll second look at the chords needed for baritone DGBE ukulele. And then finally, we'll talk about strumming a little bit. Now, if you like the chords that you see in the song, you can find the chord chart at ukestuff.info. Ukestuff.info is the blog that is connected with this channel and the uke playlongs channel on YouTube. And if you want to support the work here, there are three things you can do. First of all, you can like this video. Second, you can subscribe to the channel. And third, you can always buy me a coffee at buymecoffee.com slash you except to say, hey, thanks for making this content. I appreciate it. All those donations are definitely appreciated. All right, let's begin with the chords you need for GCEA soprano concert or tenor ukulele first in the key of G. I'll be using this instrument. This is my Coca Bolo concert. Ukulele. It's just a gorgeous ukulele, gorgeous playing ukulele, just wonderful, wonderful instrument. Um, a little heavier than you'd think, but it surprisingly doesn't impact the sound at all. All right, the first chord you're going to need is the G chord, then the C chord, and then the D chord. Now I'll just take a second to say that there are a number of ways that you can play D. The one way we say please don't do it is with your thumb. Although I actually know of a couple professionals who play it that way as well. But in general, that's going to slow you down as you change to other chords. So don't do that. The books all show one, two, three in a row. That may not work for you. It barely works for me for that D chord. I generally play it like a G7. So I put my first finger at the top of the third string, second fret, and then put my other fingers underneath it like a V shape like that. So I plant the first finger and then the other two. That's how I play D almost all the time. There are people who play it with one finger, so they practice bending that ring finger and playing strings four, three, and two while avoiding the first string. That's kind of useful, especially if you want to play E later, like, you know, just sliding up. That works really well, so that's a good thing to be able to do. Some people play it with two fingers, like this. It really doesn't matter what way you use as long as it works for you then you can do it, right? But again, for me, most of the time, it's going to be that upside down V, and the books will almost always show one, two, three in a row. All right, and those are the three chords you need to play Love You So on GCEA Soprano Concert Tenor Ukulele in the key of G. Now let's talk about it in the key of F. And this does get a little more complicated because you have a partial bar chord. So the first chord you have is the F chord. That's not so complicated. Uh, generally, it's one of the first, uh, like, five chords that people learn is that F chord. Then we have the hard one, which is the B flat chord. And uh, I don't want to make it super hard. In fact, it's easier than you think it is. But a lot of people quit guitar on the equivalent chord for this on the guitar. That's the F chord on the guitar. A lot of people quit when they need that F chord because it's just too hard. Don't let this make you quit. What you're going to do is take your first finger and pull against the first and second strings right above the metal first fret. And again, notice I'm not using my thumb at all. And if I'm supporting my ukulele body with my strumming or picking arm, right, like this, and I've got a good grip on it, I pull against the fretboard, I get almost all the sound that I need there. And it's a partial bar chord. Could you use the full finger? Sure. You could do that too. But for this chord, for B flat, most people only use those last two notes. And then you can add your other two fingers to it. And I forgot to say, you can also add your thumb just for a little bit of extra support. But most of the pressure should be from you pulling against the fretboard rather than squeezing your hand. And that makes playing the B flat a lot easier. And then the final chord you need is the C chord. And those are the three chords you need to play Love You So in the key of F on G, C, E, A, Soprano concert or tenor ukulele. Now let's talk about baritone ukulele and the chords you need to play Love You So in the key of G on baritone ukulele. All right, for baritone, I'll be using this instrument. This is my mainland baritone. It's a cedar top 
rosewood back and side, all solid wood. All right, the first chord is G chord. Then you have the C chord, and then the D chord. And that's it. Those are the three chords you need to play Love You So on baritone, D, G, B, E, ukulele in the key of G. Now let's talk about strumming a little bit. Now as we start talking about strumming, I'm going to say the thing that I say in almost all my videos, which is this. There was no ukulele used in the original version of the song. So as a result, there is no one right answer. I'm going to give you an idea of what you can do. But quite honestly, as long as whatever you do fits the style of the music and sticks with the tempo of the song, you're right. So you don't have to do what I'm showing you here. You have the right to do what you want to do, again, as long as it fits the style of the song and fits the tempo of the music. Uh, there are people out there who will tell you that there's only one answer and they're wrong. That's just not true. The number one question on the Youth Playlongs channel in the comments is, what's the strumming pattern? In fact, I delete most of those questions because I make these videos and I even put in the description, there's a tutorial if you want a strumming pattern, but people don't read the description and they just want to ask the question, what is a strumming pattern? I don't even teach strumming pattern to my own students if I can help it because I want them to have the freedom to find a strumming pattern that works for them. And all strumming does is come down between up and down, right? Up and down. It's all it is. So the basic of strumming, if you don't know, is you point to yourself and you point towards the floor and you do it where the body meets the neck doesn't matter what size or scale of ukulele you're playing. If you're strumming, you try to go for the sweet spot right there, which is about halfway in between the strings. It gives you the best sound. And then you can also play into the fretboard a little bit without hurting your hand. It's all It all works out really, really well. But in the case of this song, here is what I would do. I would go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's almost all down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, like this. Except I'm skipping the first up. So I'm going down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four. Except it has to go faster than that. One, two, three, four. Please note, most of the motion is in my wrist. It is not in my arm, so I'm not trying to, you know, go up and down extremely to get those notes. It's all right in the wrist. And that's all you need, really, for a strumming pattern. For that song. If you hear something else, yes, absolutely, you can play that. But that down, down, up, down, up, down, up will work great for the song. So if you have those chords and you have that strumming pattern and you're playing along with the correct version of the chords that matches whether you're playing in the key of G or F on soprano concert or tenor ukulele, that's all you need to do to be successful on Love You So as recorded by King Khan and Barbecue Show, the song again that's been made famous on social media as a background for everybody's short videos. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.